Based on the research and the observations you've made about the effects of space on uh, 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 people's effectiveness, it seems to me that we have, uh, or I'm interested in your view, how are we going to go to, how are we going to send humans to uh, Mars thinking, say, about uh, are using conventional propulsion where there's an extended period of time in, in uh, weightless, weightlessness in the transit then faced by a relatively high G uh, reentry and then the need to be effective there on the surface. Um, how are we going to do that? Did you all hear the question? Asking basically about uh, how are we going to keep humans reasonably in good nick to survive and, and function on an exploration type mission. Is that just the gist of it? Uh, first, my in, intuitive answer is carefully. Uh, secondly, I firmly believe it is possible to find a proper countermeasure, not a medical, not a, not a pharmacological, not a drug, not a treatment for each individual change, but a consideration of the whole body and how something like the lack of or the reduction in gravity affects the entire body, probably in a common way. Um, so I think it's possible. Uh, clearly, we have to find out how artificial gravity, we have to explore ways that artificial gravity can be provided, which I happen to believe it is possible since I had something to do with a human powered centrifuge. Um, but it is a long-term project. It is not something that's going to be discovered in a hit and miss way, like we have done basically with the exercise countermeasure. We have tried every conceivable form of, of exercise. What we have not realized or considered is in, that instead of administering or prescribing stronger and harder exercise for one short period, two hours, even four hours, that the minute you stop, you're back in microgravity. And it's as if you start the time course of response to microgravity whenever you stop the exercise. So unless you can provide on and off throughout the day, throughout the mission, continuous exposure, intermittent exposure, not necessarily continuous exposure, but intermittent exposure, I don't think it's going to work. Therefore, whatever centrifuge or uh, uh, appliance you're going to develop has to be simple, user-friendly, and one that you can get on and off easily. Uh, I think it has to be studied extensively, all the permutations of how much, how often, how long, how strong. And it can be done, at least on the ground, in bed rest, and it should have been done all, all along. You, it's not the sort of program that you can do for a short time and, and stop, and a short time and stop, and, and a little bit here and stop. It has to ha be a program with a plan and uh, continuity and stability of funding and resources and investigators. And just the educational component of that type of program would be huge, absolutely huge, because clearly it has an application on Earth. So we would find out more about ourselves as well as finding a way to keep astronauts healthy. I think it can be done. 